What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Patreon request today from Simon, musical one. Outcast, Stangonia, the album. So he wanted the two boys. So let's start on this side. What is it? Johnny 4000? <laughs> I don't know what their names are. Andre 3000 and Big Boy. I think that's his name. Um, so, so landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. Let's go for it. We start with his eyes. And we're kind of high up here, so I'll probably have to zoom in for you. So let's start with the top eyelid anyway. Curving over like this, right? And he does have like mascara, so it's like it's a darker sort of line. It's like eyeliner or something. Or maybe he just has big black eyelashes. Right, and then bottom eyelid line just comes around here, quite thin. And then, so his head's tilted back, right? So we got these kind of like, what would you say, eyelid lines that like connect with his nose, right? So it kind of like curves over, but then connects with the sort of nose area. And he's like looking down, right? So to get like a looking down effect, you want to like curve it over, touch the top eyelid and down there. And then we got like some bottom eyelashes. And his eyes are just like black with some highlights. Well, they're very dark brown, but we'll just color it black and maybe put another highlight here okay yeah and I won't really do much else now for that eye his eyebrows up under his bandana right, which kind of curves up that way so you can you can barely see it but like if you wanted to draw a little bit of it in like his bandana curves down here right and that's like his black eyebrow on the other side curves down that way it curves over his head right and his eyebrows are just like sticking out underneath a little bit i'll color them black because they are black Okay, so the other eye, similar, about eye width, similar shape, quite thin, top eyelid line. Thin eyes in general. Curving around like so. And then the eye sort of looking down. So curving up and down, right? And then leave two highlights. Like so. And then we have Again, that sort of eyelid situation, which connects with his nose because his head is tilted back, right? So it's like, it goes like right under his eye here. Very close to his nostril and stuff. Right, so then his nose, right? So he's got these big nostrils sticking up here, right? So like just sort of big holes so we can see like right in. Mm 
Right, and then the skin of the nostril. And like the tip of his nose just goes like around there. Same on that side pretty much, right? We can't really see. The bridge of his nose is like joined to his sort of eye there, so. Okay. So that's quite tricky now, so take your time with that. And then from, so the side, so his mouth is, it, first we have this sort of mustache area. Right, which kind of comes right down from here, right? So we've got this little V, sort of above his top lip, and then this comes down the side. This sort of goatee kind of a thing. Comes right down the side of his top lip. Okay, it's like an M. Right, and this is real dark. And it comes back up and gets like real thin at the top and then his top lip sort of curves around here a big top lip now All right so then this is like a hairy goatee mustache thing He has like a, a wart or something on the side of his face or something that way. Okay, so I think like his mouth is open a little bit, so big bottom lip. We just sort of go across here. And then we can just see some like teeth in here, right? So like So then his bottom lip kind of just like comes around here then. And then he has like a bit of hair underneath his chin, like a little sort of dark sort of goatee triangle thing. Kind of hairy. Maybe like some stubble coming down and then on his chin he's got like another bit of hair just coming down like a little triangle like that and I think I will just color this black while I'm here as well because it, it won't make sense if it's not Okay, so his jaw then seems to come out quite wide from the neck, it sort of comes out and around there. I think he's doing this leaning back sort of thing that some gangster rappers do. Like that way around there, and then his cheek so that we'll go in his cheekbone. Comes out and goes in that way.
Okay. So he's got he's got a pretty wide neck as well. So it like comes down from there. But there's like chains and stuff that come down around it as well. So. Quite a wide muscular neck because it comes out from his jaw. And then he's got like long black hair, so he's got, it comes out like in spikes, like whipping around here. Right. Same on this side, pretty much. And then his bandana wraps around his head. I see some hair in behind, like a little bit. And there's all these uh, black and yellow lines and stuff, but you can do that whatever way you want. I think we can see like some hair just here on the side. So then like, so these sort of chains come out from behind his neck, right? So we'll just draw them like sort of cords, like strings. And another one, so we're going that way. And we can barely see this one, but I'll say it comes out from there. I'll just draw them like two sort of string-like things. If you want to do the circles and stuff on them to make them look like more like jewels or something you can. All right, so coming out there. <clears throat> His collarbone's quite high up. So we just gotta finish it. His hair now, so. So kind of like sticking out like that. So then his trapezius kind of comes out from his hair and his shoulders. So say like trapezius on this side. So it's quite high up because his arms are quite high up. Right. And can't we really see it on this side because of his hair. But say if we could. Going that way. Okay. So then his collarbones collarbone going up that way towards his shoulder. Center line for his chest, about there. And then these hands right so they kind of like so his shoulder muscle is like around here right so you kind of got coming in onto his chest somewhere there same on this side pretty much Now, so top of his wrist and his hands and stuff. So 
got a curved line here. Everything's like really foreshortened, right? So what that means is it's like stumpy and it's like coming towards the camera. And so you got a curved line there. Another one here. So this is like, he's got these leather straps on his wrists, right? Let's say like the top of this curves around again. And then this comes down around here. And then like his elbow comes down, but it all kind of disappears behind his hands, right? You just kind of join these up to his shoulders and stuff like that, right? So he's got like a golden ring. Now, so let's try these hands. So hands are very hard and these hands are like coming like at us. So it's like even harder. So take your time. So we got like a knuckle going that way first. Like, so it's like his wrist in here. It was up underneath this. Thing. <laughs> Do you know? Um, so let's try index finger going out real long and then kind of curves around. So then the next one goes I don't think I've ever drawn hands in this position. Okay, so this kind of curves around here. And then like his fingernails are on the top. My fingernail here. And everything, all the knuckles and everything sort of go back this way towards the back of the hand. Right, so then he's got a ring on this finger, which just kind of adds an extra dimension of complexity so this goes like that way and then this finger kind of goes out down there okay next finger tricky now and so then because you got you're dealing with like perspective and everything right so we need thumb and little finger now the problem with the little fingers there's a ring on it so there's like this and it's a complicated ring so like spirals around a couple of times Right, 
So that's his finger. And there's like a little piece of metal there. And then another piece of metal like here somewhere. Okay, so then his pinky is bent this way. A little stretched out underneath that ring there. Joins the hand that way. You can see maybe like a little bit of his ring finger there. So that's not easy. And then the thumb sticking out down here. Now we gotta do that again without the ring, which will make it a little bit easier. So, I guess that's like a shadow sort of thing here. This will be a long video. Right, and then finger sticking out around here. Fingernail on top. So everything's kind of like shorter than it normally would be. finger into there and then again like sort of like hand knuckle lines and stuff This way then. So I know I'm not saying too much, but there's not much to say. You just kind of have to copy it as best you can because it's quite difficult now. You're trying to look at the form and try to figure out what way these fingers are going, you know. You could simplify them and just make them sort of cartoony sort of sausages, but I don't think that would look like as good, really. His hand sort of there. We try not to dumb it down that much on this channel. We do try and make it simpler, but you know, simplify the image rather than you know, you know keep the sort of original the best we can. And then the other thumb. Again, sort of like sticks down in between here. Right, so then like his ribs kind of come down from 
this area. And he's quite slim, so it goes sort of in to his hip there. And his pants comes across here, so he's got like le black leather. Pants. Maybe like a button or something on an edge. And his belly button, sort of here. And then like abdominal sort of areas, his chest muscles come around. Well, actually higher up, that's probably his abs, is it? So his chest should be here maybe. Okay, I think that's the best I can do for Andre, the hands man. Hope that wasn't that didn't mess people up too much because not simple. Oh, I finished the chains actually while I'm here. Okay, you got a tattoo there. If you want to do that, you can. I think he has a tattoo there. Can we see it though? So, okay. Whew. So now, big boy, over this side. That was challenging. It was fun though. It's good to do like hard ones sometimes. So. His head isn't as tilted back as far. So, but he's like in here and his shoulder will go like in behind Andre, but that's about there somewhere. So like in behind Andre's sort of shoulder muscle here. Right, so. Let's start with his eyes. Not as tilted far back, but still looking sort of down at us. So let's go. Thin sort of eyes again. And then the bottom eyelid line. And there. He's looking a bit more forward, so I think we'll curve the iris this way instead of down. Right, and we'll leave our two highlights again because we want it to be consistent, so like the same two dots. <clears throat> right, and then a bit of an eyelid line just coming across the top here. And this seems to come down this way again. And then his eyebrow, sort of shorter, but closer to the eye on this side. Disappears underneath hair there. And I will color it black again. Okay, then we'll go over and do the other eye, similar situation, eye width, so the width of the eye will fit in between both the eyes, that's where the next eye sort of starts, right? Up and down, tear duct, 
pie shape. It's kind of like a skinny sort of lemon sort of shape. Right, and then his iris coming down from the top. Leave your highlights. Color black. Two sparkles. And then that eyelid line. And then like the bridge of his nose is kind of like part of the eye because the bridge of the nose is so wide. And then that eyebrow again. Disappears underneath his hair a little bit again back here, but we'll draw it in. Color it dark inside. Add another, add like an extra sort of eyelid line they have around their eyes. A wide nose, nostrils again. Flared, sort of dark. Right, and then the nostrils on the side again. Curving around. Here for the tip of the nose there. Go around this side. Right, so it's quite tricky now to get all these things sort of lined up, but that's sort of what I'm looking at in terms of his nose, really. <clears throat> so again, his top lip is defined by a goatee, but it kind of goes all the way down the side of his mouth, right? So it's like you start with this little V here, and then it comes down this way, and it can be like a hairy sort of line. Right, and on this guy, it goes the whole way down, sort of the mouth. Like with Andre, it kind of stopped, but this one goes the whole way down, right? And this kind of defines his top lip as well. So we'll go like... like that that's kind of like black all in here now this keeps going down to his chin but we'll just get like his mouth in first right so you got like a very sort of downturned sort of bottom lip right starts like real low down and then comes across down the other side again there so see like the hair on his top lip defines the top lip like that and then his bottom lip just sort of curves around like so quite big right I think he has like a little bit of stubble, kind of like that, but like not as big as Andre's. 
So this one sticks out sort of the corner of his mouth on this side a bit more. And then we go down the chin. And around here. Right, so his chin looks really long there, but there's there's hair in here. I think it goes up his jaw a little bit as well. Not all the way. in here how long am I at 38 minutes <laughs> it's a long video <sighs> so sorry now this is taking me so long but it's quite complicated and I don't want to mess it up you know so <laughs> sorry Simon okay so his jaw seems to disappear kind of like underneath his hair, right? so it goes like up this way. It kind of curves around here. He's got like quite a wide face, but. Right, and then he has like wavy sort of long hair. So like the, the nose will go sort of up to the top of his forehead about here. Right, and then his hair sort of comes down kind of long, right? And it is kind of, it is a bit wavy, right? It's down onto his cheek. And then it just like waves out around here, like very curvy, kind of wavy hair. And then we hit like spikes at the bottom, sort of hang over his neck. see a bit more of his neck on this side yeah see a good bit more of his neck on this side I'd say like a neck muscle go short and stuff here this is like his t-shirt sort of on his shoulder right and then his collar his hair is quite curly then at this side
right, and then neck muscle sort of in there. Right, and then shoulder will go this way. Out behind Andre there. And then this shoulder sort of sticks out here a bit more. Right, it's just a white T. Going down that way, and then he's got a chain as well. But I'd say, like, we can just see kind of like t shirt armpit lines here, and a collar around his t shirt. And that t shirt goes that way. And there's like tricep and bicep and stuff, goes down there. His t shirt just sort of hanging down that way, and then his elbow comes out and down there. And then he's got DF on a chain. So that's his sleeve and his arm just going off that way. Diamond encrusted. Man, this took so long. <laughs> Chain just wraps around his neck, then like disappears into there. So like that's his chest, chest, center line. And then like just some like clothing, just some loose fitting clothing lines there. Okay, finally done. Outcast. Hope it's helpful, Simon. Sorry it took so long. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Bye.